with Charles today, you guys, <laughs> from Meat Hunter. I was super excited to find out here and check out the Bob's in person. They have a good beef. What's up, Mark? Gosh, close to 800 around you guys. So this is the main reason why we came, but super stoked to see everything else. Let's talk. Six to 16 foot. Who has the biggest Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, you got the ice fishing ones too. What's that? Oh, the ice gosh. fishing ones too. Oh, and ice, oh yeah. I'm sorry, I got to change that up. It's three. To, <laughs> yes. Because we have some. They oh, 30. So inch, so 30 yeah. inch ice Those are cool. Exactly. Yes. I have two. Do you fish? So, that. Okay, Kevin. Kevin. No. Girl, say you're on a So you've been to a river where they have a dam. Yes. And you're trying to get, you want to cast three magic eggs over? Yeah, where wow. that current break is? Yeah. Something they keep no way. So, that rod right there. I mean, that's that a lot of rod. That gives me goosebumps. Like. That's a lot of rod. Or let's say you go down, I know you're thinking about a trip down to the Gulf Coast. Mm -hmm. For Texas. like shark, yeah. So, a lot of times those guys are using a 12 foot spinning. I see that, and I'm wondering, like, they are throwing them from the bank. That's why they are they're, using those they're super long. from the shore. But a lot of them are kayaking their, their baits out. Okay. They do use these on the shore, like, on, you know, certain fish. Oh, so sorry. So, so yeah, so that's it. Or five eggs. the extremes. I do make the big game suits with the aluminum suits. Because that's what we were saying. Like, those are extremes, and they're huge. But it's got the same exact... Same as like action as my rods that I always use, but it's longer. Yeah, when uh, I used to snag from the bank, I used to use 14 footers and yeah. just to wing it out to the middle of the river. And then the other question we had is what are the sturgeon? Do you have any of the sturgeon rods here? No, okay, because we didn't know what so those So, those have been released. Like. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, so, so basically, we'll cut that out. <laughs> it, no, it's okay. Okay. No, it, I don't mind talking okay, about okay, it. Okay, okay, cool. So basically, if you take our flex rod, mm -hmm. that everybody uses, and, and you morph it with your, your extreme bottom, that's what it is. It's a two-piece rod. A, I use a template. We got 17,500 pounds of fish in two days. <laughs> um, four guys. So, um, that gave me goosebumps too. <laughs> so um, my biggest was six, eight, four and fifty pounds based on the Washington's, you know, if they're this right. long yeah. and they're girths this much, then then it should be around this. Because you can't obviously go right. across that big. How long was your fight? Like, how Forty five minutes. That's total. not bad. From you know, yeah, it was, uh, but it was pure like, everything you had. Yeah. <laughs> and so we, Gosh, uh, that's what makes me we get it up, you know, you get it up to the side of the boat and then you, you know, make, you want to make sure the fish is, is, is healthy. Okay. Honestly. So, um, you kind of take the boat to ease with the trail motor over to the, to the bank and then you get out, you know, you know, you unhook it with it, you know, still in the water, obviously, and then get your picture and then turn around and kind of ease it back. We have one fish. Uh, out of all those fish that struggled a little bit, uh -huh. and uh, the guy that I was with, and that water is super cold, right? It is. He like he's so cautious about fish. Uh -huh. He uh, he dove in, went down with this fish, six foot in the water, oh, huge fish, <laughs> swimming it, and then that fish just came alive. And, and <laughs> so awesome. I mean, everything. I like his that, goose Yeah, but I mean, he's wow. he's very conscientious well, that's about awesome, the though. health of the fish when he was. Yeah. So, that's good and he's not You're a guide he's just a he's just a customer that we built some rods for because he's like Man, i know your rods will do this yeah and, you know, so he's been using them for about a year like wow and he, then he embodied me out and then so he's just go fishing and i'm like let's just do that. <laughs> How cool so, is that and i get a lot of invites actually Jeez, uh, a lot of people just want me to see this is what I really do with your life. Right, right. You're not going to believe it until you see it. First hand yeah. experience. Yeah. Alligator hunting down in Florida. A lot of alligator hunting. Um, they're bringing them in. Uh, commercial guys are using them yeah. to, to bring them in. Um, That's crazy. Or just, you know, guys are just alligators. Um, a lot of guys out in California. Um, Alaska. Halibut. Oh, yeah. Pulling halibut off the bottom. That's not easy. Because <laughs> oh, they're the ones that like go flat, yeah, don't they? Yeah. And they're kind of hard. And, they just freeze the and we do, so like on our rods, you can add a roller to it. 
Okay. Like I've used something. a Boss Hog. Jeff had a Boss Hog that had a roller tip on it. It would, took a minute for me to get to used to it, and I did better if I just suspended it. Right. I, is that what it's for? Oh, it's a roller tip. And you know, most of the time you don't need a roller tip, but I mean, if you're fighting fish that are going straight down yeah. on the bottom of their land there like that, and you know, you're just cranking them up. Or if you're suspend fishing, Larry needs to say this. Mm -hmm. Suspend fishing, he truly believes when you're just hanging a rod out there with that roller tip, that it takes, it takes, the fish do not feel the tip I of your rod see that. with the roller it's tip. Such an ease. As much oh. as they would with a standard tip. Yeah. And that's what Larry loves. And so, so we might, so, so, yeah. so I mean, we can do anything. Yeah. Man. And then the only other question I had, if you had a minute, I didn't know the difference between. So you have the custom, mm -hmm. and then you have the big game pro, and I'm not sure. Like, so let's just go through it real quick. Okay. So, because big so, game pro we're using next weekend already, or no, two weeks. So the, the MHR is our base model rod. They're very, very well priced. They got a neon tip. Blanks are very similar. Okay. Um, the components, right? Your real seat. In your, in your eyes or your guides, um, they're they're not they're just a little less, but they're still great. These these rods, the, the blank is really where it's at. It's a sumo blank. We have exclusivity on that one. Um, had it for all these years, and um, the MA rods. So this is our our base model rod. Okay. So now we're going to go from there, and we're going to go to the custom. Okay. So the custom is a little bit it's 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 you get three color choices you get mm -hmm. blue red green the guides are the same as an extreme the real okay. seat's the same the blank is just a little stiffer and so they okay. this rod is a few dollars less than the extreme. gotcha okay. only comes like that that's your that's your deal you get okay. you, know, you get a chrome guide you get a black guide and you get three color choices and so there you go so now we go in right custom. Now you go into extremes. Extremes go, and all these rods, by the way, come in two piece and one piece. Um, oh. up to th MHRs in thir up to 13 foot. Jeez. Everything else up to 14 foot one piece. Wow. 16 foot two piece in, in all models. Jeez. Right. Extreme. So extreme, you're going to have a little bit more um, action in the tip when you're casting. Um, than you will in the, in the uh, customs. Extremes also come in white painted blacks. Um, so you can get them in black or white. White, this is, these are two pieces. White we have eight, let's see, eight and ten foot two pieces. Um, I believe that's right. Oh no, nine. Eight, nine, and ten I believe in white. In black um, we have the same thing as uh, eight. You know, we have everything available beyond that, but it's only in black. So the white one. So one piece blanks. You can get a white one piece, um, an eight foot, but we don't go any longer than that. Now. Okay. Fourteen foot would be the longest one piece that we make. And Gosh, these two that is huge, now. though. Okay. So now we got those. So we got MHR custom extreme. Okay. Um. I love the extremes. <laughs> so the flex rod comes oh, in amazing. six foot, seven foot, eight foot, six, seven, eight, ten. The flex rod Jeez. was designed for a ten foot flex rod. Originally, it's called they called it a small shot. Yes. Like, like throwing prepared baits. Yeah. Um, like you know your, your dough baits and right. stuff like that because they're. The, 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 the action of the tip is so light, right? And you could you could put some bait out there. But yeah. see, I love that because I can't cast very far personally, <laughs> right. so I actually like that slingshot action. It helps me out. But then a lot of guys started figuring out, hey, I can I can still throw a shad on this. A lot of the guides that are guiding fishing, Zach Rumpel, BZ Guides on the screen, so it's Tony Vaughn, um, they, uh, with no weight, yeah. Anyway, uh, Tommy, I think, yeah, he uses Tommy uses a six foot flex more for sandblast. Okay. Uh, you can use them for 
we got guys that catch 50 pound blues with them. Oh, geez. <gasps> so, I mean, <laughs> the biggest fish so far on that that I've heard of is a guy out of Florida that caught a 151 pound stingray that he uh -huh. pulled in. On a six foot place. Now, that's a flat fish. That's a lot of weight how to pull. Fun. <laughs> how so. cool would that be to even see that? Oh, man. But anyway, for blues, um, it's great. Channel cats, this rod is where it shines because it's such a light tip. I know she, she likes catching channels. Yeah, we catch a lot of 20 it. to 30 pounders. <laughs> right. Yeah, my biggest fish with this was with an eight foot flex is 121 pounds, my personal best. Nice. And that's in a spoonbill that I snagged. <laughs> just to you see snagged if, it on that? Just to just see? Just to see if I could do it. <laughs> no that was, way. That, was, that wasn't dragging it behind the boat, that was just me. Uh, and we were no way. Yeah, yeah. Just to see if it, I was like, if it breaks the rod, it breaks the rod. We'll see what happens. And, my and brother, you brought that fish absolutely. in. <laughs> That's awesome. Just that wanted to see so if it did. Cool. Um, Flathead, oh. same thing. They Flathead tend to bite real light. Yep. Um, so, flex rod. You're focusing shine more on flathead. <laughs> but there is a ton of power. In it. Oh, man. Because That's awesome. Because you've been wondering for like, if you were to get any of your rods for bass, crappie, smaller fish, these ones. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the six foot, I would say for bass, <laughs> maybe a seven foot. Um, I've been on, you know, but they're, you know, they're a, they're a little heavier actually than your traditional bass. Rods, right. So I don't know that, um, you know, it's sand bass, yes. Okay, you know, okay. Um, but it just depends on the, on the guy and what, what they're doing with the music. Frank okay. Bates, it's a great little thing. Right there. I use a trout fish myself. Ooh. I love it. I personally trout fish with that. Really? Because really? yeah. we're going to try it. We just think they're pretty. I think they're pretty. It's going to so, be fun to go get some. <laughs> um, but then, yeah. Awesome. And so then the boss hog. Yeah. The boss hog, we do a medium, medium, heavy, and heavy. So the boss hog, uh, this is a medium heavy. This is what they're, they're over there snagging. Those spoonbill with live scoping, okay. um, thousands and thousands of pounds they pulled in, and the rod still goes right. It's, it's hanging in there. Um, it's got an EVA dense foam, metal reel seat. Um, your heavy duty guys, hook keeper if you want. Some people don't like those, so we don't put them on. It's by request if they want them or don't want them. I wondered about that too. Okay. Yeah, some people cool. do not want them, and I mean, here's I, why. I don't um, use them. Actually. Well, here's what happens when you're fishing. Um, Let's say we're down on Wheeler Lake in Alabama, and we got this sitting in our rod rack, and we're on the night, okay? And a rainstorm comes along as they often do, yes. and you got braid, and that line gets wet, and you got slack in your line, and it goes down, no, and it wraps around that hook keeper, and you don't even realize it. That rod tip goes down, and you got to break it, and you got this line around that hook keeper. So there's some guys that absolutely do not do that. Yeah. Now, on a normal day, if you're not fishing in the rain ever, you know, I mean, that's not, I'm just being honest. Yeah. Um, we, we choose to put them on the bottom to keep from having that issue as well. You'll see companies that put them right here on the top. It's really bad if you get water on that braided line. Okay. And then you got your line or your bail open. Yeah. And it drips down because it's right there. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna snap the line if you're big enough. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'd be so sad. <laughs> right. So <laughs> so that's one thing that we say, hey, it's an option. Yeah. Some guys want them, some ladies do, whatever, uh -huh. either guy girl, whatever. Yeah. Um, okay. So that that's so important part about that. This rod you can bump, anchor, drag, drift, suspend, anything. It's a one. Do it, it's a do it all right. Four times as long to build this rod as it does other rods. Uh -huh. So that's where the, you know. And, then, and it's completely customizable. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Absolutely. And colors. And colors. colors to choose from. So we have five colors of grips um, black, red, orange, blue, and green. Um, I think that's it. Thread colors. We have hundreds of thread colors. So um, we have, so we honor guides. By the way, they're all stainless steel guides. The black ones are stainless steel, but they're coated, oh. so they're the same thing. These are chrome coated stainless. Okay. 
these are black coated stainless. Okay. But they're 100% stainless. Right. But they're just coated. <laughs> That's awesome. So we don't charge an upcharge for those black guys. Um, That's awesome. Lance Lucky over in Oklahoma does a guide service. And Lance said, one thing that you can look for in catfishing when he's got customers on the boat, if you're if you're looking down this rod, okay, and there's a you see that blue background, I don't know if I'm getting it. Mm -hmm. On a blue sky, you can see a black guide better when Ooh. it moves than you oh, can yeah. a chrome guide. I believe I it. Could so see that's that. why on his guide says you see all these black guides. He said if I've got a customer in the boat and I'm watching that rod on a blue background. I can see that black tip a little bit better than I can, and I'll tell him. Hey, and then tell him about. Yeah. Hey, there's a fish That's there. Cool. So he says that your oh. eye will pick up the black. I guess the Isn't blue that crazy? Better. What mm -hmm. everyone kind of finds out. This. I'm just telling all kinds of That's Lance. Awesome. If you put this on video, I'm sorry. I didn't yeah. mean to throw your secrets away. <laughs> so sorry, no secret. secret. <laughs> oh man. We just started making the little ice fish yeah, maps. Cool That's cool. Oh, so these. These are basically a seven foot flex is what you have to order. Um, I know Chris is out there right now in Nebraska. I was just gonna say yeah, we were watching his live on the way out here. Yeah. Steph said you better not have her pink one out without her. <laughs> <laughs> well, Steph, there's so a cool. black little, or no, that's a pink, uh, that's black with, ne uh, black, uh, with uh, neon pink X. <laughs> so. I, this one reminds me of like, uh, your What's eyes. That? <laughs> My eyes. No, um, let it go. What's the let it go? Oh, mean? frozen. Yeah, like I need to go an ice fish with my frozen. <laughs> so then we go. Okay, so we've done the MHRs, the flex, the boss hog. This is the American spear. We have over a hundred spears, right? So it's just a red, white, and blue rod, and we put a Patriot wrap on it. So. Um, Basically, it's the same rod as their string. It's just done up with under wraps of blue, as you can see, and then the white middle. Hmm. So we probably need some for the July. <laughs> All right. For the July fishing. So the big games. The big games have been selling really well. So is um, that what we were told we're using? I think that's what he said he, he was said, using. No, We're going to be using that rod right there. The big this game for Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Tommy uses that. Um, catfishing and uses that swim. Um, he God. loves the extreme, though. He's mm -hmm. one of Tommy's favorite rods. The big game has an aluminum reel suit. Yeah. And so, if you'll notice, um, this rod right here, we'll just say, for instance, is in there. The guide, you see the guide? There? Yeah. So that oh. is our, that's a stainless steel guide. Okay. That's our standard guide. This is the heavy duty guide. Okay. So okay, yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. So it's just, a, it's built up, it's a little heavier built okay. guide. Okay. With a little more That's cool. That's cool. Green and purple? I forgot this one. This is a custom Supreme. I'm like, that one looks similar cool. to something I've seen before. Yeah. I love how this is done on mine. Yeah, <laughs> yes, we so need you. a rod for you. And then, uh, oh, Dylan said, so hey, cool. for the show, why don't we send, you know, send something with a, with a cool double wrap. Oh, and so we did man. some double wraps for the show. I love it. Because everybody I, loved those. I mean, yeah, I like it. I like the double wrap. A lot of customers. You even them. said, like, you swear it feels better. It for does. whatever reason, Jimmy you, swears you guys have a big following of people, by the way, because we've had so many customers call and say, hey, I saw your show. Are and, you seriously? And then, yeah. And they're like, I like that double wrap. And, you know, I'm like, yeah, we can do that. So, <gasps> that is so, so that's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. We're kind of in the right direction. Yeah. Oh, Head in the right way. <laughs> <laughs> so then you're a big game pro, which is that's what she does. Awesome. Yep. It's yes. the same rod. It's just this one is what Melissa was using. Has the black tip, so you can see it on the black or blue background. Yeah. Oh my God. So just a little tip for you. How chrome. Some people want the chrome, though. so we got it. We got to offer both. <laughs> um, it, it has a 12-inch bone, and what you'll notice on there is that what Tommy found when, when um, people with shorter arms or a shorter person mm -hmm. um, when they were fighting spoonbill, the 
butt yeah, being yeah. three inches long. They're out here doing this. Oh. And they, they're fighting, they're trying to control the fish, and then it's like, so he's huh. like, can you shorten that butt to a 12? Give me some, a little bit more power. And I'm like, yeah, I can do that. And so we made it a, so we had the Big Game Pro um, <coughs> already out by then. Also, you can do it with, hook keeper with that. Um, so, and that's a stainless steel hook keeper by now. Um, so, when you're, when you're cranking, especially, you know, it's, it's tied to in. And you don't, you got a lot of people yep. that'll be starting to you do see, this. see, I always jam it in my hip or where, wherever. Yeah. It goes jam, and then I crank it from there. So people would end up putting it under their arm and cranking like this. Because it was so long. Yeah, it was so yeah. Long out okay. there, they couldn't. But, I, you know, I mean, obviously, I can scratch my knees. So, <laughs> right, my arms are long. So, not as much. I mean, my hand. Really. So, anyway, so, uh, powerful rod, but shorter rod, um, and aluminum real seed. Uh, just for durability, because guys put them through. A lot, although they know, but that looks like a heavy rod. Like, oh, it's very heavy. Actually. I mean, like, it's gonna last you. It does, it will. All a these rods, time. a lot of customers use their rods 18 to 20 years. Yeah, oh, wow. um, so Jeremiah is catching, they're snagging the swing boat, right? Mm -hmm. So, what he's figured out with customers, unless you're a really big, stout, stocky, you know, strong person, mm -hmm. a heavy, a heavy rod is a lot to fight on a big fish. Mm -hmm. So we talked about my 450 pounds of dirge. Yeah. I had a flex tip on it. Why? Yeah. Because I've got the backbone in my rod in the main back part of the Yeah, rod, okay. But my tip is taking a lot of that fight. And I'm, and yeah. I'm not, So it's not pulling your I'm bowl. not wearing my whole yeah. body out. And I'm fighting that fish more effortlessly and smooth. And so that's what he uses the medium heavy by Is Most people can fight that fish and, and actually have fun with it instead of wearing them. Like, really? Yeah. So everybody thinks they want these big heavy rods. Guys, I thought like that. And I'm going to tell you what, the hardest fight I ever had out of all of the fish I caught was a 40 pound blue cat on the Missouri River. But I think it's because I was fighting with my rod like it wasn't. So this it's rod right here, for instance, Joey Jr., Joseph Scott Jr., we were down fishing at the dam at Wheeler. Okay. Um, we were just I don't know, 100 yards, 200 yards probably from the dam now, mm -hmm. probably 200 yards. And where it drops off that little shelf right there okay. across the front of the dam. And then there was a hole right behind us. And Joey and I, we were anchored right there. There's a, there's a spot right there, so it's a, it's a good spot. So, but anyway, he... Uh, he had his rod just went straight down. Jeez. So Joey grabs it and starts cranking this thing up. Uh -huh. And he's just bringing it straight to the, I'm like, Joey, slow down. Because we were in, I think, I think it was like, I can't remember, 75 nope. foot, something like that. I'm like right outside the dam, yeah. We were just there. We're mm -hmm. <laughs> just trying to remember. It's been a couple, it's been like two or three years ago. So anyway, I was like, Joey, slow down, slow to your rope. He goes, what? I'm like, you're, you're bringing that fish up way too fast. Because you what, you know, get the bends. Just like people, they get full of air. Yep, and yep. Yes. So if you want to take care of your fish, there's no sense in bringing them in. So a lot of people want the power. This ride, he's like, yeah. It's, he thought it was maybe 20 pound fish, right? Yeah. But maybe 15. He, it ended up being like, a, it was a little over 50 pounds. Jeez. And he's like, I can't believe Whoa. that I brought that. Yeah, he had just started using this rod. But no, the heavy no. rods in deep water mm -hmm. can cause you issues with your fish. Because mm -hmm. you can okay. bring them up too fast. Yep. Because you're just cranking on it. You're just and it bringing doesn't even them feel like that.